Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halach. And here's a brand new Halach of four units for Sunday, 30th day of October, 28th day of Tishrei. Here we go. First of all, a reminder that it's going to be a two-day Rosh Chodesh starting on Monday night, going through Tuesday and Wednesday, all day Wednesday, not including Wednesday night. Now, continuing on in the laws that we were telling you about peeled things, like a peeled egg, or a peeled onion. These were things that were peeled all the way and then left overnight. Mystically speaking, a bad spirit can rest on such a food and it's prohibited from being consumption, consumed in our religion according to a lot of rabbis. You may want to talk to your rabbi about whether this applies, but a lot of rabbis are saying that we should be careful about this and now to more laws about it. So let's say you had a, let's something like a hard-boiled egg, which some rabbis say falls under this pro prohibition. Hard-boiled egg, totally peeled, left overnight, but it was left in a sealed airtight container. Rav Belsky says there is a lot of reason to permit that uh, because it was in a sealed, but that's hermetically sealed, no air getting in. If it's in that kind of container, then it's okay. And uh, you will now start to see hard-boiled eggs available for sale, peeled and everything, ready to eat in uh, fast food places on the New Jersey Turnpike, places like that. You can find them with a kosher sign on them and uh, they're being allowed by a lot of rabbis because they're in hermetically sealed containers or because some people say it doesn't apply to a hard-boiled egg. But anyway, it looks like there's room for leniency there. If, uh, According to a lot of rabbis, if you just have a hard-boiled egg and it's in a Ziploc bag, that's not good enough. Wrapped up in silver foil is not good enough either, only in a hermetically sealed bag. Uh, Rav Moshe says that it does not apply to commercially produced food. So when you buy like, those big batches of pre-prepared egg yolks, you know, that are definitely overnight, you know, they're kept in fridges and freezers for a long time, so they're going to be okay uh, prepared uh, garlic, you know, that's sold in containers. That's commercially produced, and um, so Rav Moshe says it does not apply to situations like that. Um, the dark Chuva says that it, to dried things like dried egg powder or dried garlic powder does not apply to them either. So they would be totally okay, even though they've been left for many nights. Not a problem at all. When other food is mixed in with the, let's say, the eggs or the garlic, and so it that other food changed over the taste, that makes it permitted. It takes away the whole problem. So if you have um, some chopped up eggs and you want to leave them overnight in your fridge, being in the fridge is not enough of a protection, but if it's been some other kind of spice was put in it and that altered the taste, so it's not just a hard-boiled egg now, but it's a hard-boiled egg with taste in it from something else, then it's totally okay. And you can do that on purpose to kind of make your egg be safe from this uh, decree. Now, you might say to me, well, there's a rule called Ein Mevatlin Isr Lachatchila, which in plain English means, like, if I had a uh, little drop of milk that fell into a chicken soup, and there wasn't enough chicken soup to nullify the, the to drop, to nullify that drop of milk that fell in, so if somebody were on purpose to pour in another batch of chicken soup to say, well, now it's nullified, because there's tons of chicken soup in there now, that's called pouring in an is, you know, a, a bittel on purpose, and you're not supposed to do that. So it is true that you're not supposed to be mevatel iser lechatchila, which means you're not supposed to make the milk go away from a chicken situation by just pouring tons of chicken on it. But that's when it's iser, when it's prohibition. The thing that we're talking about today is not a prohibition per se. It's more like a mystical problem. So there, to pour on a lot of onion powder onto the chopped eggs to make this problem go away, so that it's not just chopped eggs now, it's chopped eggs with onion, then um, the problem will go away according to most rabbis. Do speak to your rabbi about how this may or may not apply to you and what situations it could apply to you. These laws are out there. Some people choose to not follow them. Your rabbi might likely tell you that you should follow it. So certainly take this as education and go discuss these matters with your rabbi. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.